In this video today, we're going to have an introduction to subroutines. A subroutine is a program within a program to do a task. Uh, right here we have a piece of one inch Delrin. And what we're going to do in this subroutine is we're going to remove material down to a diameter of about 426 thousandths. And then once we get that done, then we'll be able to thread it and so on and chamfer and so on and so forth. But before we get started, we're going to show you what we're going to work with. We're going to work with the codes G90 and G91. Let's take a look at those. All right, so before we start working on our program, uh, let's take a look at a couple of the G codes that we're going to be working with. We're going to be working with G90, absolute, and G91, incremental. Now, the G90 uh, is what we use uh, 99 and 9 tenths percent of the time, and uh, G90 is absolute X0, Z0. For instance, here's a 2-inch uh, diameter part uh, in our lathe. And right here, right at this point, is going to be X0, Z0. So that's absolute zero. So when we use that, if we're going to take some coordinates, let's put the Z out 200 thousandths here, and let's come in uh, down to a diameter of right here. X is uh, 1.25, and the Z is 0.2 absolute. This is where we're going to go with our cutter. We're going to go right here. And what we do from there is whatever we tell the machine to do. Uh, but if we're in the incremental mode, incremental, G91, incremental, zero is wherever we start from. Wherever we start from is going to be zero. For instance, right here, to get to the same distance here, this would be X minus 750 thousandths. Now, it's, we're in the diameter mode in our machine, so it's going to take off 750 thousandths off the diameter, which is going to leave us with the X1.25. So, remember, in incremental, it's uh, zero is where you start from, and then you can go to wherever you wish to go. And I'm going to show you how that's going to work right now. Now, here's the part that we're going to be working with. It's a one inch diameter. It's actually 1.001 thousandths in diameter. And this is what we're going to do to it. We're going to remove this material and we're going to do it in a subroutine. Now, G90, our absolute X0, Z0 is right here, right at the nose of the part. But we're going to, if we were to run this all down and do all of this with a regular program, it would look like this. And if we wanted to make any changes, we'd have to, of course, change all the little intricacies throughout the whole thing. But right here, we have a subroutine, right here. And the subroutine is uh, directed by this uh, M98, right here, and it's P02, meaning program 02 and L, loop 6. We're going to run this thing six times. And as soon as we have an M98, that looks for a capital O. So we've got O02. That's what this is looking for. Once it sees it, we're going uh, G91, which is our incremental, and we're going to go down a hundred thousandths. And then we're going to go take the Z and run it down 625. And we're going to do that six times. And then we're going to come up five thousandths so that as we track back, we don't uh, scrape anything up. And then once it gets down here to M99, M99 says we're looking to get out of it, and then it's going to pick up right here at G53, and it's going to send the machine back home to X0, Z0. Now this is all, this is all basic, because fundamentally, once we get down to about 426 here, uh, we would run a chamfer, we would take this down to 375, we'd come up, clean off the back, and we'd run a chamfer here, and then we would thread it. But right now, all we're concerned about is this uh, subroutine right here. And this little subroutine is going to take the place of all of this. So let's get started. All right, let's hit cycle start, see how it turns out. Thank <laughs> you. 
Let's measure this and see what we got. Looks like it's 426 and a half. Not bad. Subroutines.